Hey there, welcome to Sin Seeker. My name's Luke. Hello. You're only going to get my giant hand today. Uh, and hi, Wabbit. <laughs> a friend of mine who does great videos with hands. Anyway, uh, so I've had a, a several requests now for uh, exactly the recipe for making what I call a Roland-style pluck. Uh, I use them uh, Berlin School, Synthwave. Um, I, in the, the um, Moog Minotaur video, I demo um, a Roland pluck. Uh, I've got a video somewhere where I build one in Ableton. Um, and, but so people have been asking and <laughs> I went looking and I'm like, I can't find those examples. So this video is a very clear, very short, very simple explanation of how to make a Roland style pluck, which sounds like this. And without the ARP, you can. Uh, and if you fiddle with the filter, uh, the filter amount, let me turn this back on. All right, that's a Roland style pluck. Is it canon? Like, is that what the industry calls it? I don't know. That's what I call it. All right, so, you know, carry that on. If you know that it's called something else, <laughs> put it in the comments. I, I, you know, just so you can share that knowledge. Personally, don't care. I'm always going to call it a Roland pluck. But let's make one of these, okay? I'm working on the Hydrosynth here. Um, it, it, I gave some serious thought to doing it in software because I could pull up like pigments or something that really easily shows you all the envelopes and settings and stuff. Uh, but I have done that before in one of the other Berlin School videos and I haven't done it in hardware. People were asking me specifically about hardware. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it on here and you'll see on the displays what we're doing. And I'll talk through it very verbosely and sort of explain. The patch is really simple. So let's initialize this to nothing. So what am I looking at here? I've got one oscillator, only one oscillator is active. OS1 is at full volume, two and three are off. And OS1 is currently a saw wave. Let me turn off the ARP. All right, I have a very small amount of room reverb on this. All right, so this is the start. We start with just a bare sawtooth wave. Uh, and the filter's all the way open. We'll talk about the filter in a minute. Our second oscillator is going to be, uh, second os is going to be a square wave. All right, and I literally am going to layer those on top of each other at the same volume. So here's our saw. We're going to bring in the square. You can hear that sort of round hollow underneath, and we're going to take that square, and we are going to drop it an octave. So I'm looking at oscillator two, it's a square wave. All right, and it's an octave down. It's beefy. All right, now, that's fine. I'm going to detune it by like five cents, tiny bit. You could do that to taste. This is just my recipe. You can change it around, all right? All, there's, none of this is gospel, right? It's all flexible, but that's, those are the steps so far. So we've got two oscillators, a sawtooth, a square wave that 50%, one octave down, slightly detuned. All right, let's go talk about the filter. All right. So, um, well, before we do the filter, let's talk about the filter envelope. Um, the filter envelope is currently what I call an organ envelope. It's got zero attack, zero decay. Uh, and zero uh, full sustain and no release. Okay. All right. And this is what we're going to do. We are going to bring it sustain all the way down. All right. And we're going to bring its decay up to about 200 milliseconds ish. All right. Now the filter is still wide open. So let's go close it down. Right, filter we want it to be, I'm gonna, any low pass resonant filter will work. I'm gonna use a 24 dB per octave low pass, and we're gonna bring its cutoff all the way down. OK, 
Okay, so now we're not hearing it because our envelope amount is at zero. We'll bring the envelope up. Okay, that's full. Let's go look at our, our filter envelope. So zero attack, 200 milliseconds of decay, no sustain, no release. Let's add a little more decay. We'll play as we go. That sounds about right for me. So 400, 500-ish milliseconds of decay on the filter envelope. All right. And we're going to add on our filter, we're going to add a little resonance. Our cutoff's all the way down, but let's bring the resonance up till we hear not, I don't want squealing or squelching, but I want some definite top end filter behavior there. All right. So I got a little bit of this liquid warble in there, right? It's not shrieking. That's pretty close to being there. Let's turn on the ARP. Tell it to go for uh, two, two, two. Too fast. Okay, it's close. It's still a little squealy. The filter is, the envelope is um, pushing the filter open all the way, right? Envelope amounts all the way up. So let's bring the envelope amount down slightly. And really, this varies from synth to synth, and it doesn't matter hardware, software. Every synth has slightly different behavior and timing in its envelopes, and it's sort of uh, how its modulation circuit basically tweaks the filter. You're going to play with the filter envelope amount and the filter decay. You're going to dance between those two settings till you have what you like. That's why I have the ARP on, because I can sit here on the filter. I just, I just want the envelope to barely peak the filter at the very beginning. Like that's a little low. That's maybe too high. I want, I want it about there. Now we're going to go tweak the filter decay time. About 250 milliseconds. Like you're, and this will vary depending on the tempo of what you're playing at. But this is close. What's missing is a pluck needs to ring out a little bit. All right, so in order for it to ring out, we need to give it some release. But if we give the filter release, we also have to give the amp envelope release. So let's go look at the amp envelope for a second. Now the amp, amp envelope looks like an organ, uh, an organ envelope, right? It's zero attack, no decay. <laughs> let's keep looking at it. There we go. Zero attack, no decay, right? Full sustain. I'm going to drop the sustain ever so slightly. I'm going to give the decay about the same as the filter, about 200, 250. But I'm going to give it a chunk of release. I'm going to give it a full second of release on the amp envelope. Because then when I go back to the filter envelope and I let it, I can increase the release here and I'll get this, instead of being so choppy, it'll ring out. So listen. That's better. So the big difference between no release and about a third of a second of release. That's what I like. And we'll play with our filter envelope a bit. So you can ride that for whatever you want, for effect, right? Or we can apply some LFO to it. Right. Actually, is my LFO doing what I think it's doing? Rate one, level 128, yeah, it is. There we go. All right. Uh, and that's a roll and pluck, basically, for me. Now, I do apply some chorus to it. So we'll stick some chorus on there. 50% feedback. 
uh, excuse me, 50% wet dry, we'll give it some feedback. Now, uh, what you can do, so that seems a little rumbly to me, so I'll go back to the mixer and I will play with the levels of my, this is my uh, sawtooth wave and that's my octave down square wave. So we'll bring the square wave out just a little bit. And I like it full on actually. Let's do an airwolfy sort of thing. All right, go back to our filter. Maybe a little too much chorus. Yeah, that'll do. So that's the roll and pluck. Basically, it's two oscillators, a sawtooth and a square 50% duty cycle, one octave down, slightly detuned. They're about the same volume in the mixer. Um, and then your filter shape is a pluck and your amp envelope shape is a pluck with some sustain, right? Uh, and then you bring your uh, filter cutoff frequency all the way down to zero and you apply filter uh, envelope amount and you sort of do it to taste. Right, modulating the envelope amount is probably your, uh, the most likely ticket to doing something interesting with your composition, right? So you hear that click at the beginning? The attack of the envelope is actually too fast and we're clicking. You can fix that by going to your filter envelope and adding a couple milliseconds of time to the attack. Still there, there we go. Uh, add to the amp envelope. There we go. Go back to our filter. And again, play with your filter decay time to make it a little snappier if you want and go back to your filter and play with the envelope amount. And that's it. So roll and pluck again for the third time. <laughs> the recipe is really simple. It's a sawtooth at 100% volume, a square wave, 50% duty cycle at 100% volume. It's an octave down, slightly detuned, five cents-ish. Uh, and then apply to your filter, take the cutoff frequency all the way down, give it about half resonance, depends on the filter how much resonance, but give it enough resonance that you're entertained by it. And, uh, and basically give it the shape of a pluck. Oh wait, sorry, go to the filter. Uh, and then apply your envelope amount. Take the cutoff all the way down, give it some resonance, play with the envelope amount. Give it a little chorus, reverb if you want, and delay if you want. That's it. So I hope that was useful. For those who are asking, that's how you do a Roland style bass pluck. Thanks for spending time with me. My name is Luke. You've been watching Synth Seeker. Have a great week.